Hey guys, it's Harry here from Tackle World Mornington. We've been getting stuck into a fair few guys lately. We've had plenty of guys coming in asking how to rig up for them. So I thought I'd just run you through a quick video on how to do it. First of all, I'll show you how to attach the float stopper. We'll go through step by step and then I'll show you the finished product. Now for the sake of, it, of the video guys, we're going to run some pink monofilament line just to make it easy for you to see. So the first thing we're going to attach is this float stopper. As you can see, that's how they come. The first thing we're going to do is just thread our leader material, in this case it's the pink mono, through that loop there. So you just thread that through there. Then you grab your float stopper here, the white float stopper. And what you can do is you're just going to pull that onto the line. So as you can see, it does that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull that tag, that tag end all the way through. And then what you're left with is your float stopper just on, on the rig like that. And you can slide that up and down depending where you want to set your bait. Now that we've attached our float stopper, the next step is just to put on the float of choice. This is just the pencil float we've been running lately. And the way to do it, you just run it right through the bottom, bottom end there. And then you just feed that all the way up to your float stopper. The easiest way to proceed the rig from here is just to tie on, tie on your hook. The one we've been running lately is the size 12 Gamma Katsu long shank. Now I'll quickly tie that on and then I'll show you the next step. There's lots of different knots you can use, but just for the sake of catching barfish, we've been running the simple blood knot. Now that we've got our hook on, the next step is just to add our weight to the float rig. And to do that, we just use split shot sinkers. Now these are nice and easy to use. They come with a little gap there. So you feed the, the line on that. And then what you do is just with a pair of pliers, just crimp them shut. So we'll add two. You may need to, to add, add one or take a few away just depending on what float you're going to be using. Now though you're all tied on, you're not quite ready to fish yet. The last step is to slide this little float stopper I've got here up and down the line depending on where the gars are feeding. This enables your float to float up to where your float stopper is going to be and your hook with your bait on it to sink down to where the gars are feeding. Now just for one last time, you've got your main line through to your leader material with your float stopper, your float stopper down to your float, you've got some split shot sinkers for weight and then you've got your hook. All you need from here is a bit of bait and you're fishing.